the lorry sheet? Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> Little one. Good morning, Ben. Good morning. <laughs> what you got there? <laughs> I told you, cast out in the middle, boom. <laughs> Always good to start like that. Small, but top water, I'll take him. All right, just start. So what are we doing today? Today, we have the brand new Mega Bass multi-piece rods. So new Trizes, uh, new Valkyrie World Expeditions, and we are just going to put them through the paces. We're going to put some different stuff on and show you guys how amazing these rods are. It's been a really long time since so I've been this excited for a launch. So see yeah. if we can <laughs> see if we can get them to uh, bend a little bit, and then we're going to do a full breakdown, show you guys exactly what Mega Bass has brought to the market. It's a huge release, so really excited about it. <laughs> yeah. Well they're little but top water is scary. That's a white bass. bass. Alright. Multi-species Yeah, already. two species. Oh, oh, there there you go. Go. Hey, relax there again. Alright. Another species, little white bass. Crushed it. Yeah. Cool. Thank you guys. That was a big one. Jesus. You got him, G? How's <laughs> that strike? That was sick. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. Walk to the bait great, handle the fish great. Well, bam. Try as a striper. That's it. There you go. All right. See you, buddy. Okay. Oh my. Goodness, that was so good. <laughs> Not a bad one. <laughs> oh, that's not a bad one, dude. All right, another one, dude. How about that hit, huh? <laughs> what was sick? So crazy. All right, Thank you striper. Keep going. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do it again, Jeff. <laughs> Sounds just like a V4. Oh my god. I don't think that's a white bass, sir. Is it? Yeah. Oh my god, it crushed it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> I thought that was a four pound large enough. Another species. Mix it up that time. It's on the 6'8 medium, the new Valkyrie. Just super dope. Throws, uh, throws some of the smaller hard baits like a little whopper flopper, uh, jerk bait, that kind of stuff amazingly well. So super stoked for this series of rods. Oh, you bet. Oh, God. Got him. That's a large mouth, dude. Jeez. It's 
It's a good largemouth, dude. Yeah. Funny how the largemouth came in and kicked the stripers out. Yeah. That's why they've been so picky, dude. It's a largemouth. Yeah. Baby. Skinny dipper action. That's right. On the triza. Alright. Woof. New triza spinning run. Bad ass. The new tries a baby. Wow. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. What were you saying about those booties? Like I said. <laughs> what the hell? Crushed it. Valkyrie? Aragon. With Aragon. the Valkyrie, huh? The new Valkyrie. See you, buddy. Did he smoke it or what? Smoked it, dude. <laughs> it has been a long time since I've been this excited for new rods to hit the market. I have in my hands the new multi-piece rods that Mega Bass just dropped. The brand new Triza models and the brand new Valkyrie World Expedition line. I'm gonna break them all down for you. I'm gonna tell you guys why I'm so excited. We're gonna show you guys the rods in action and uh, walk through the whole line because these are models you're definitely gonna wanna add to your arsenal. So if you're ready, let's do it. Welcome to the Hook of Tackle. The Hookup Tackle is the world's largest showcase of Mega Bass products, featuring baits and colors not found at any other dealer. The Hookup also offers a wide display of OSP, Evergreen, Depths, Lucky Craft, Jackal, and many more. The Hookup Tackle is owned and operated by family, is staffed by guides and verified tackle nerds who love helping anglers elevate their craft. If you're in the Phoenix area, we'd love to have you stop by our showroom and check out the wonderful world of Mega Bass and the hookup for yourself. If you shop online, there are almost 10,000 SKUs of Mega Bass products alone with hundreds of other companies and new products being added daily. So next time you're looking for that hard to find bait, that color your fish have never seen before, or maybe you just wanna elevate your game, Look at the Hookup Tackle. What's up, my friends? I am Ben with the Hookup Tackle, aka the Tackle Otaku. I am out here with my buddy Jeffrey the King. We are breaking down and really just having a blast with the brand new multi piece rods from Mega Bass. Now, when you think multi piece rod, you generally think cheap, junky, subpar, right? Not as good as my single piece. And Mega Bass really has flipped that on its head over the last few years by developing, honestly, some of the best multi-piece rods ever. And some of them, especially with the Triza models, so good that we don't even think of them as multi-piece. Yes, they are three-piece rods. Yes, you can travel with them. You can store them in your car. You can pack them on an airplane in your suitcase. You can do all these great things with them. But I literally own every Triza model and they stay put together. So I'm gonna break down these two new models. There is a new spinning, the Agea, and a new casting, the Dragoon. We're gonna break them down. I'm gonna show you guys what I love about these. Now, if you're not familiar with Triza, Triza is the three-piece rod. They're gonna be in that 350 range, right? 350 to 400. What's great about Triza is Megabest set out to develop a rod that they call their triangle build, right? So instead of just taking a one-piece rod and cutting it into three pieces or four pieces, ferreling it and then sticking it together, Megabass actually develops each piece independently. 
So it develops the butt section so that you have rigidity in the rod. Its middle section is designed to have all the torque and power. And then the third section, the tip section, is going to give it its taper and its action. So whether it's fast, whether it's moderate, whether it's regular, whatever the case may be. Now, in the case of the Dragoon, which is the rod I have here, this is a very special rod. So this rod actually debuted as a teaser a couple years ago back at the Osaka show as their swim bait model in the lineup. And everybody is super stoked about it. Well, Mega Bass wanted to even elevate it more. So this is an F772, okay? So the lure rating on this guy is a half ounce to three ounce. I mean, it's crazy lure rating, right? Now, they advertise this rod as being the big bait slash swim bait slash Texas rig slash jig. Now, normally those, you know, bottom contact, big baits, you know, reaction baits, triple hook baits, normally those are not the same rod. But with this rod, what's special about it is this has the Mega Bass exclusive tip. So what that means is when you buy this rod, it literally comes with two tips. So you get the option of having a regular taper tip like what I have on here now or a fast tip like what you can add to it. So if you're throwing, you know, some bigger baits, like today we're out here throwing, you know, larger topwaters, right? So if you're throwing larger topwater, if you're throwing a swim bait, uh, something where you want the rod to have a little more bend at the tip, so you load a little bit more, you get a little more strength, it slows it down a little bit to keep those fish pinned, then you go with the regular taper. But let's say, you know, the bite starts dying and you want to switch up and go fish structure. All you do is literally take the regular taper off you put the fast taper on, and now you have a nice fast tip, just like you would expect with a jig rod or a jig and worm rod, and you've got all the sensitivity for a bottom contact rod. So one rod now can accomplish so many things. So as a travel rod, this is a no-brainer, right? I mean, one rod, you know, throw some braid on your reel or something to where you can just change up leaders and you can do so many different things with this. As a rod that's going to stay in my boat, this is amazing because, you know, on a day like today, we're pretty much going to throw reaction baits most of the morning. And then as that sun gets up and the fish start pulling down deeper, literally I can just change the tip and I've got a jig rod and I'm completely functional without needing two different sticks. So super amazing rod uh, from Mega Bass, the new Dragoon. It does have a different grip than the other Trizes. If you guys are used to the regular Trizes, it is a much more ergonomic grip for, you know, comfort for walking big baits, for casting larger baits. It does have a little bit longer handle, you know, with a big grip on the back for throwing a swim bait or a large top water. So you can just get some amazing distance, incredible power. Jeff and I were throwing this in Michigan a few weeks ago for smallmouth, throwing the dark sleeper. Here we are today out in Arizona throwing topwater for stripers and largemouth. Just so much versatility. So definitely check that out. That's the new Dragoon. The other new Triza model that we're super stoked about is the Ageha. So this is the F372 spinning. Now, what's exciting about this is the spinning models in the lineup up until now have been pretty light action, right? They've been pretty light taper, really designed as you would expect from a travel rod, you know, trout, you know, lighter line, more finesse. Now we have a rod that really to me, you guys know I am a huge fan of the Windbuster, right? In the P5 line, this rod fishes a lot like the Windbuster. It's very powerful. It still bends down through the middle right? It's got that nice bend through the tip, so it's going to load, but it's incredibly sensitive. It's very light. So now we've got a rod in a three-piece version that can accomplish so many different things. When we were back in Michigan and we were prototyping the final sample, we were throwing little eighth ounce and sixteenth ounce Okashira screw heads on it, casting it just fine. And normally that's a technique that's reserved for like a baby plugging or a a really light power, but this rod handled it with absolute no problem. Just to show you guys a comparison really quick to the Windbuster. So here is the Windbuster, and, and this is important to me because this, honestly, I, I, I speak so highly of this rod, and I really feel like this is probably the best all-around spinning rod ever made. It's specs almost identical. 
right? So you've got still the uh, 16th to half ounce here, quarter to five eighths here. So this is an F3 and a half, this is an F3, right? But the bends are almost identical through the tip section. You know, the Windbuster is still gonna be, you know, lighter, a little bit more sensitive, but I mean, you can see as I load these that it's almost identical in bend, right? So very similar action, uh, super dope to be able to get it in a three-piece rod. Super comfortable, that hand-carved wood grip and the way the lockdown sits is just very, very comfortable for your hand. So I know you guys are gonna love this. If you guys have been looking forward to this landing, like I have been, definitely scoop it up. It's an amazing one. That is the Ageha in the new Triza. Okay. The other line of multi-piece rods that Megabass has dropped is the Valkyrie World Expedition. Now, if you hang around our shop, our channel, you hear me talk about Megabass Valkyrie rods a lot. Valkyrie is the Megabass fiberglass carbon composite line. So all the lines in Valkyrie are glass carbon composites. And they were developed several years ago by uh, Sugimura, who's one of the best guides on Lake Biwa, one of the head pro staffers for Megabass. He wanted a line of rods that incorporated glass so he could get a lot more strength out of the rod, but still have some bend since they throw so many reaction baits and having that bend is so important. What's exciting about this line is that this line, these are all four piece rods. They're super lightweight. And this is really one of the first, you know, lines to incorporate glass and carbon. This is one of the only, you know, full series of multi-piece rods to incorporate fiberglass and carbon. Each rod is gonna have a little more glass or a little more carbon based on what the rod is designed for. So as a traveling angler, this is super dope because now you have these rods that are so strong that you can take with you and throw just a huge variety of baits. So there's 10 rods in the line. I'm gonna talk about a few of the standouts for me. There's some shorter length models that might be you know, perfect for you guys. If you want little five and a half or six foot rods, there's some really dope ones. Uh, but this is one that I am really impressed with. This is the 7.8 Heavy, okay? And the lure rating on this is gonna max out at 120 grams, okay? So basically you can throw, you know, about a four and a half ouncer with this. I've been throwing like three quarter ounce stuff all morning on it, throws it amazingly well. It's got a big rear grip, so if you are gonna load it up, it's really comfortable back here. This rod for being 7.8 is crazy light. Here, Jeff, feel how light that for 7.8. That's actually insane. Yeah, it's super light. And what's great about this series is, you know, regular Valkyries are priced at 500 bucks, right? So the World Expeditions are all gonna be in that 350 to $400 price point. So amazing price point. This is a great, just kind of all around use rod. Definitely worth getting. Okay, another model that's really impressive that I'm stoked about is this guy here. This is the 6.8 medium bait casting. So this is a great all around reaction bait rod, jerk baits, smaller top water. This is gonna be more of your finesse reaction. It's super light, it casts like a dream. It's got that beautiful kind of glassy bend, but it's, it's not soft or squishy. So, you know, for walking baits, for jerk baits, for all that kind of stuff, it's an amazing option. So that's the 6.8 medium. Everybody knows I love the 7.11 spin from Valkyrie. So to have this guy, this is the 6.10 medium light spinning rod, but don't let medium light confuse you. This is medium light in a Valkyrie. So remember, this is a glass carbon composite. So it still has a lure rating to three quarters of an ounce. This is the rod that a lot of you guys are going to pick up and grab. I know a lot of you guys like throwing the jerk bait on the Orochi Ronin. You like throwing more smaller reaction on spinning. This is the stick for that. Reminds me a lot of a Ronin. It's got a little longer grip. So if you need to bomb cast out, you can reach back and really load it up uh, for really insanely far distance cast. It has a very powerful midsection, so even though it is quote unquote a medium light, it really fishes more like a true medium, even a medium plus, once the fish are hooked. So 
for you know smaller reactions, jerk baits, smaller top waters, that kind of stuff. A sick, sick rod to consider adding to the arsenal. And then maybe the most exciting thing about this new line is that you can finally get multi-piece true swim bait rods in this line. So there are two to really talk about. Now that 7.8 heavy, certainly, I mean, it's got a lure rating up to four ounce. So if you're throwing smaller things, you know, little eye slides, mag drafts, that kind of stuff, that 7.8 heavy is amazing. But this is the 7.11, right? And this guy has a max lure rating of 150 grams, so about seven and a half ounces. So this is going to be, this rod reminds me a lot of the TS Destroyer Blackjack. And that's a rod that I speak about a lot. That is my go-to A-Rig rod. It's amazing for throwing, you know, I slide 185, slide swimmer 250s, you know, that four, five, six ounce stuff, it's incredible on. This rod reminds me a lot of that. Because it's glass carbon, it does kind of bend and it has that nice kind of regular taper and it does have that nice soft tip. So you're gonna get all that good load that you need for accurate casting. And then as you get to the middle section, it stiffens up and you get tons of power. So, you know, I'm an A-Rig junkie, right? I've been throwing it all morning. It fishes it almost identical to my blackjack. Jeff and I were chugging some bigger swim baits over in Michigan just to test it out and it handles it all amazingly well. Now, if you guys need something even beefier, there's also an eight foot extra, extra heavy, right? So if you guys need something up to 10 ounces, there's a rod for you. And this is amazing. This is an eight foot rod, right? Mm -hmm. And, and mm -hmm. once they're assembled, you, you would never know these are multi-piece rods, right? So absolutely incredible that this is an eight foot rod so you know we're in our little project boat today our little aluminum that we've been playing with it does not have really any rod locker space and i was able to store this in the tiny little four and a half foot rod locker that it has so if space is a concern you know you can pull this out and you've got this eight foot you know extra extra heavy swim bait rod assembled it i mean it's amazing. Now, let's talk about assembly on multi-piece rods here really quick, okay? So, because I want, this is very important if you guys are new to multi-piece rods. I don't want you guys to be afraid of, you know, multi-piece. In the fly fishing world, multi-piece has been a thing forever. And they've developed all this tech to where there's really no disadvantage anymore to having ferrules as long as the rod is assembled correctly. Big swim bait rods being shipped over from Japan have been ferruled inside of the grip for decades, right? And a lot of people still freak out like, oh man, it's ferruled at the grip. But I mean, literally this is tech that they solved, you know, 20, 30 years ago, right? So here's the key. When you assemble the pieces, okay, it's very important that you don't just line it up and just push it in, okay? You can do that, but what's gonna happen is all you do is just kind of push it in. There's nothing really bonding the two pieces, right? It can just pull back out. And as you're casting and through the course of the day, the piece may kind of move. What you wanna do is you wanna come in at a 45 degree angle, okay? So you'll notice this is top right here, but my guide's off to a 45 degree, okay? Once it's in, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to twist it tight. Okay, once it's twisted, now you've bonded the two ferrules. You've bonded the male and the female. So now, dude, it ain't, it ain't moving, right? So you probably are gonna need a second person to unassemble that, right? So same thing with these top pieces. There's gonna be little dots to help you line up each piece. You don't wanna just push the dots together. Right, same thing, you're gonna to wanna to come in at a 45 degree. So you're gonna get it in tight, not super tight, but tight, and then you're gonna super tight it as you twist it together. And then those pieces are bonded. You can see that is not popping off of there, okay? So once you kind of bond the whole piece together, you have a very, very strong rod that is not going to come apart, and you are gonna swear is a one-piece rod 
to accomplish all the things that you want to accomplish. So check it out. Nice, big, eight foot, double extra heavy. Uh, it's rated 180 grams, Jeff. That's so a lot of like grams. 10, 10, 10 ounces, right? So pretty spectacular now that there are these amazing multi-piece big bait rods for tackling the world, right? You guys can travel, you can put them in your kayak, you can just store them in a boat in case you need them. Uh, but super dope that these are out. Definitely check this out. All right, guys. Well, I hope that helps understand uh, this new line of Valkyrie World Expedition and the new Triza Drops. I hope you guys are as stoked as we are for them. Uh, definitely check them out. If you have questions, you know, drop them down below in the comments. We will get to them. Jeff will leave links to the products. If you want to check any of them out closer, you can. Really appreciate you guys joining. I'm excited to see what everybody catches on these new sticks. Jeff is super stoked about that big swim bait rod, aren't you, Jeff? That thing is kind of dope. What's super sick about that 7-Eleven and that 8-foot is they're still, they still have tip. They're soft. Like they're dude. still going to load. They're still going to help you cast. It's not just some four-piece, you know, pile <laughs> of shit put yeah. together that's, oh, it's got 10 ounces, okay. right? Yeah. It's actually legit. Yeah. So. Guys, check them out. I know you're gonna love these rods. And again, if you have any questions, let me know. And until next time, peace out, guys. Let's go fishing.